Hello everyone, my name is Rohan and uh, in this series we'll be discussing the fundamentals of networking which will help you throughout your college days and during your interviews also. So we will start with the very basic question that is uh, how the internet works uh, or what happens when you open a website or open a URL. So we'll now take a dive into the presentation. So uh, first let's start with how do you access the internet. Of course we all know how you access the internet and to access the internet you just open a web browser and then you enter any URL. like for example I have given the example of uh, www.google.com so after hitting the enter if uh, you have proper net connection then uh, you will get this web page that you can see and the white google search page that has come up. So, we'll know what happens behind the scene uh, behind uh, this entire phenomenon we'll take a deep we'll take a deep dive into each and everything so to connect to any website you must know the public ip address of that website but as we know there are millions and millions of websites it's not uh, practically possible to remember all the ip addresses of all the websites so we use the name that is we use the a fully qualified domain name to access any website like google.com so google.com has its own ip address and uh, just like uh, google.com your PC or your mobile phone it also has an IP address like to access any IP address you also must have one IP address it can be private or public to access any website we access the public virtual IP of that website now why I'm calling the IP address as virtual we'll talk that in our load balancing session but for now uh, we must know that our PC and our laptop these are having IP addresses con configured that's why we are able to access the internet now so like uh, in my Windows PC if I open my network settings you see I have uh, given the example of the Wi-Fi settings here so if I go to internet protocol version 4 if I double click there we'll get the IP details that we are using here so you see well, we have that option selected which says obtain an IP address automatically so we have two options to uh, provide IP address to our computer that is one is uh, it, it can automatically obtain an IP address from your internet service provider or second one is you can assign a statically uh, assigned IP to your laptop or PC which is given by your internet service provider so uh, it's not only IP address that you need, it's the IP address plus the subnet mask plus default gateway along with the DNS servers. These are the configurations that you get from your ISP automatically or statically you assign yourself. So what is an IP address? What is a subnet mask? What is a default gateway? What is a DNS server? We will discuss these things in detail in upcoming videos. So now let's uh, take a high, high level overview of what's happening here so first when you are uh, entering www.google.com in your browser URL what's happening behind the scene is that your browser is looking for the IP address of google.com in its own cache that is the browser cache if it doesn't get that record in its browser cache then it asks the operating systems cache and it, uh, the browser asks the operating system whether you have the IP address of google.com or not. If the operating system cache also doesn't have it, then the next step is it asks the internet service provider's uh, DNS cache. Suppose the internet service provider's DNS cache also not having that IP address of google.com or any website. Then what happens? Each and every internet service provider has its own DNS resolver so what dns resolver does it recursively queries all the dns servers and it tries to find out what is the ip address for the website that uh, you are trying to access so 
why do we call it as a, a recursive resolver because it recursively queries to three level of servers it can be there can be more than three levels but uh, primarily it's three levels so we call the top level servers as root name servers then from the root name servers we come to tld name servers by tld we mean top level domain top level domains are like .com .net .org these are the top level domains from tld name servers we ask about the address for authoritative name server so authoritative name servers are the actual name servers which are having the actual ip address of google.com or any other website that you are trying to search for so the final response comes from an authoritative name server towards your uh, in internet service providers resolver and your internet service providers resolver replies that answer to your browser and then your browser establishes a tcp connection towards that ip address now what is a tcp connection what is tls what is a digital certificate we'll discuss this uh, in detail in later videos so once the tcp connection is established then the browser requests the particular url so whenever the browser requests for that particular url it, the the server knows that which page to return it works in a client server manner so in this case the client is your is your browser and the server is google.com server which will serve you the google.com search page so based on specific URL, if you open maps.google.com, it will return you Google Maps website. If you open photos.google.com, it will return you photos website of Google. Like in our case, we have searched for only www.google.com. So the server is returning the google.com homepage to you. So the steps that, that are involved in this entire process is first, you must have an IP address either automatically or statically assigned. Then to connect to google.com, you must know the IP address of google.com. That is when you re start resolving the IP address from your browser cache to your internet service providers recursive resolver. And uh, then the finally, when we have the IP address, then we try to establish a TCP connection with the remote web server of google.com or any other uh, website. And once the TCP connection is established, we can finally start the HTTP connection. So HTTP is the application layer. So we'll also talk into in detail about the layers, all the layers in the networking. But uh, this is the high level overview, how it works.